you all very, very much for being here. Um, you are the supporters who produced this book. Well, I'm Brian Burgess, chairman of Bees United, the Brentford Supporters Trust, and we've uh, uh, funded the production of this book of uh, supporters' memories. Joe Emerson came up with the idea of working with the BBC Raw campaign and putting it together as a project where Brentford supporters could tell their stories and they would get help. We were approached by the National Literacy Trust and the BBC to be involved in their passions campaign and we're excited because we wanted to make sure that people knew that the Learning Zone was not just about children but was a really big community resource for the rest of the club and for the fan base and the people within the local area. This is uh, Brentford Till I Die, which we are so proud to be a part of. Basically, how we've done it in a very short period of time is we've invited fans to send in us their stories about what it means to be a Brentford fan. My name's uh, Chris Barrett. I'm the Griffin Park Learning Zone project assistant. Fans we've got in ranged from a uh, 101 year old, the oldest fan, the youngest fan I think we had was eight. <laughs> My book that I wrote, uh, the story that I wrote about my first Brentford match. <laughs> well, basically, he came, he came up with no, the idea no, no, no. Um, a, a there, few yeah. days before the launch. I might have to come back and there, yeah. basically, it was a matter of getting it done, getting it sorted, going through it on the computer, making sure everything was fine, rushing down here, making sure it was in the book, finding a photograph. So it was kind of uh, manic to get there. He loves football. Um, he's, he even plays for Junior Bees as well. So he, um, he just he's into football a lot. And the good thing about this is some, he, when he's writing, it's about something that he's interested in. So he's going to read it as well. I mean, I would have given anything when I was a kid to be able to spend one of my lessons at Brentford Football Club. I mean, it had been, oh, been the world, wasn't it? There was a young chap who found anything to do with reproducing the word in any form very difficult, speaking, writing or whatever. So what we did is we sat with him up in the Griffin Park Learning Zone and slowly and carefully teased out a few words from him, a few phrases, encouraged him to put them through the keyboard on the screen, printed them, got him back the following week and gradually we got something with a picture of him doing a football in the community scheme. And although it's very sparse, there's not much there. It was a starting point, wasn't it? you recognise that the potential and the power and what I call the framing significance for people's lives. That's why what we do in educational terms here far outstrips often some of the best intentioned, best motivated work in schools. We're living in a world where for some kids and for some adults, you know, the sort of learning is incredibly important and they often not doing as well at school or haven't, didn't do well at school and this is another opportunity, this is an opportunity to get them involved and you're bringing them in through something that they feel passionate about which is a football club. The way it worked very well is that we, we had a softly, softly approach to it. Although there was an ultimate aim of getting adult literacy learners, the supporters were, well, they were aware of the campaign but they weren't aware that they were actually learning and being part of the process uh, and that's what made it work. If you went up to a Brentford supporter or any football supporter in a pub and said, hey, why don't you come along and do some reading and writing, they'd probably tell you very sharply where to go. But if you say to them, hey, how about coming along and telling us your story about being a Brentford fan, and we'll give you a bit of help, you know, if it's not, you're not a natural journalist, that doesn't matter. What we do now is now show them that if you're interested in doing that again, you can maybe you know write in the in the match day program or write on the website and, or give us articles and we can put them uh, out and about. We have the facilities and we have the contacts to 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 show you and point you in the right direction. Really, I mean, what matters is can you use people's passions for a football club to help them in other bits of their lives? And of course, the answer with education is what's been proved here is yes. And we've got a lot of other clubs interested in doing their own versions. We're, we're hopefully, with the title Brentford Till I Die, uh, we'll make it generic so that we can have uh, QPR Till I Die, Man United Till I Die. You're now getting big clubs coming down here and saying, what's happening at Brentford? Let's have a look. And, you know, that's an exciting time. <laughs>